It's time now for Communities That Care, where we salute extraordinary people who are making a difference. And we've all heard about the shortage of personal protective equipment for medical professionals on the front lines. A team of doctors, nurses, and biomed engineers at Children's Minnesota decided to do something about it. We were uh, getting very very close to a dire situation. You've heard it time and time again. The spread of COVID-19 is unlike anything the world has faced before. In a lot of ways, we're, we're being forced to, to be creative. Hospitals like Children's coming up with out-of-the-box solutions to protect patients and staff. And one of the things that came abundant was the, the PPE shortages that we're having. Specifically, face shields. And I thought, well, it can't be that difficult to make. John Hendricks is a biomed and logistics manager who likes to keep things simple and straightforward. You know, one of the things that's been driven in my mind all the time here is working with the infection control people. And as we look at the foam, it's always we have to have a closed cell foam because that doesn't absorb fluid. And so that was really important. So what did he do? Hendricks and couriers from Children's hit the big box stores across the metro. And it was actually a foam that's used around air conditioners outside. So we know it was very, very weather tight. Then he looked internally. We had have our own print shop in, in, in the hospital. So we went down there. They have these huge rolls of laminate they use for like posters and stuff. And I looked through it and it's like, this is wonderful. Piece by piece, the shields started to come together. We needed to identify a strap material, and somebody said, you know, let's use a tourniquet. Word spread. Doctors and nurses started to assemble, wanting to pinch in. They were really excited about it, and they were happy to help uh, because they feel like they are giving back to our community, community in a sense like our children's staff. I think about seven days, we, we hit our goal of 5,000, which was pretty incredible. Yeah, that is incredible. The project coordinator Tenzin Namka said the team at Children's Minnesota would be willing to help any organization set up the process to make face shields. They are reusable, easy to disinfect, and the rubber straps make it possible to have different sizes.